So tell me, you started out a devout Christian after one of those weekends that we saw in Belief, at the beginning That's of right. Belief, where the kids go away to a kid's yep. camp. And what was that like for you, that experience? It was unlike anything that I'd ever experienced. I'd always been very interested in religion and spirituality as a child, despite the fact that I didn't really grow up in a particularly religious household, really. If anything, I grew up in yeah. a kind of an anti-religious household. But I think Because what was your mother growing up? My mother was sort of culturally Muslim, the way so many people around the world are culturally religious, yeah. you know. But it certainly did not dominate her life. It did not dominate our household. But I think my childhood images of revolutionary Iran really affected me in a very profound way. The, the power that religion has to transform a society for good and for bad never left me. And so all of my life, even when I was 9, 10, 11 years old, I was deeply interested in religion and in spirituality, but I never had an opportunity to really uh, explore it in any way until this weekend. It was a transformative moment for me. How old were you? 15. 15. 15. So you go away and you become a Christian. Not just a Christian, but a evangelical, very conservative, I guess the term would be fundamentalist yes. Christian. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Did you think a lot about it? Because I joined the church at eight and I remember thinking long and hard many a Sunday because in the Baptist church there would be this moment where the doors of church are open and all of you who have sinned and come right. short of it. So I would think every week before I joined the church whether or not I was willing to give up sin. Hmm. I would <laughs> literally contemplating, am I, am I ready to fully give up sin? Can I never sin again? Do I have to follow every single commandment? And at eight years old, made the decision, yeah, I can give it up. That's amazing. For me at 15, it wasn't so much the sin part. Obviously, yes. I struggled yes. with that. What was um, a little bit anxiety producing to me was the um, missionary part oh. because you know, you're told that there is this salvation that's available to people who accept this message and to people who don't. There is not just damnation, but eternal punishment. Well, yeah. you're 15 and you start immediately thinking, what about my mom? What yes. about my dad? What about my best friend? What about my sisters? And so I threw myself zealously into trying to convert the world. Uh, I've never been somebody who does things uh, half-heartedly. <laughs> Um, and it worked, actually. I converted my mother to Christianity to this day. She She's is still a, a Christian. devout Christian, yes. yes. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see. Subscribe to the OWN channel today and we'll see you on YouTube.